And here's the final diorama. This is one that I did uh, a few years ago. Um, well-known modeler and one of my favorites, uh, Roger Herkman. He uh, does some amazing buildings, custom-made buildings and converted figures, all with uh, World War II themes. Uh, and his, to me, his stuff's amazing. I'm a big fan. So he had a building on one of his dioramas similar to this, a little bit bigger, I think, in the whole scene. Not much, though, really. And I kind of copied his buildings a little bit. And what I did is I reversed them. <laughs> this building was like over here and this building's over there. Um, but, uh, you know, copying is a, a, a form of flattery. And uh, I, if he sees this, I hope he takes it that way. Because uh, I, I just think his work's amazing. So that being said, uh, once again, we're gonna start with the plastic, you know, the plastic box. I found a plastic box. I don't know where this came from, um, but when I see a plastic box like this, wow, it's a, it, right away it's a base. <laughs> so um, there was a perfect base for this. I wanted to work on some buildings like this and uh, I did it. So once again, they're plastic styrene uh, shells that I start with. And, and I've said it before, I get the plastic for free that they throw away at sign shops, the styrene sheets that are too small for their signs, they throw away the scraps. So I've picked them up and, and, and believe it or not, they've lasted years. I mean, I got so much plastic that I'll never have to go back. So this whole building is plastic. Um, it's I used some other sheet styrene, thinner sheets to create this effect right in here. And some strip styrene, evergreen strip styrene for this molding look. Um, I layered some styrene here, cut this out, and then with Magic Sculpt, put in the bricks the roof is just strips of uh, styrene, pretty simple roof. The gutter here is from the mini art accessory set. And the downspouts are just uh, plastic sprue from kits. And they've got some, you know, this, you've built the model, you've seen the shapes of the sprue. <laughs> they make perfect uh, downspout pipes in situations like this. So both sides have the downspouts that way. The top part is from the mini art kit. And the light from the mini art kit, the window from the mini art kit, and the door. Um, as you can see here, the back, I just painted it black inside. So you can't see in there. And it, it makes a good effect for the clear glass, which I put just some clear styrene um, in the back of the window. The brickwork here, this is really a fun part. I really like doing this stuff. And you've seen in my other videos, the brickwork is just magic sculpt, put on, textured with a toothbrush, sculpted in the, the bricks, textured again, pushing it together so the, the grooves between the rocks, stones, kind of tighten up. It really makes the effect better. Um, the door is styrene. Uh, I just etched it and put some more styrene here for the hinges. The roof, I did it a little different ornamental. I put the individual, I cut individual shingle pieces out from styrene and put them at this angle just to give a, a ornamental interesting effect that's different. This gate back here is from the mini art accessory set and then if you can see the the steps back here uh, once again just magic sculpt over some plastic um, i guess or what do you want to call it plastic uh, frame so it was really interesting kind of effect i did on that it was a little different than what he did on his 
Um, the only thing that I, I, I wish I would have done different is I wish I would have made a little more of a walkway here, but the scene was getting really narrow. And, you know, I wanted to keep this effect here. And by doing that, I lost a lot of real estate. Um, so it's pretty tight, but as you saw in the photo at the front is kind of an inspiration of the small village streets in Germany and in the countryside. And that's kind of what this one is. It's the British going into Germany, into the war. Bren gun carrier. I was wanting to do another Bren gun carrier. I hadn't done one in a long time and I wanted to really max it out with stowage and equipment and, you know, anything I could find that could go in there. And as you saw at the beginning, the all these sacks and tarps and bags, etc., are from the Black Dog accessory set for the Bryn Gun Carrier. Um, it all has also has a few other uh, accessories in there that you can put, which I don't think I put them all. I mean, it does have the jerry cans, etc. And there, there might be a few other extra road wheels, things like that that came with it. But this is all I used for it and uh, pretty pleased with it came out the way I wanted it. The figures from Mini Art, they're the British winter tankers. This guy, you know, he looks really cool on the cover of their artwork and he's got a camouflaged uh, jumpsuit, winter suit, but I consulted Ron Ballstad on that and he's like, he'd never seen anything like it with that camouflage and that particular style of clothing for the British. So I went without camouflaging it. They were painted in those, these guys were painted actually in oils. Uh, and I'm gonna start bringing oils back into my scenes, uh, my work and my figure painting because I, I really am more comfortable with them than acrylics. And I've got uh, one, two, few projects um, that they're definitely, I, I want to see how they come out where I'm going to have to do multiple figures. So that's probably my future is using oils again. And I'll show how I do that. Um, I think lastly here would be the cobblestone street is made just like the Operation Conrad diorama with the Germans in Hungary and the uh, German half-track with the small 75 millimeter gun. The base for it is just magic sculpt put down, spread out, textured with a toothbrush and then with a small copper tube I kind of misshaped it by squishing it a little bit. I just started sticking the copper tube in there and making each individual stone. And by turning it a little bit, you're gonna get different looking shapes, different places. And then after that, hitting it with again with a toothbrush, changed them all up so they don't all look the same. Um, I like the effect it, it, it created. It, it looks really good for this. Um, I put washes down with artist oil, burnt umbers and different colors, and then some white um, acrylic paint was put in, I think first before the washes. So that way it kind of got the white off color so it wasn't so stark. And you can see more back in here. Um, I tried to I put some pastels down for where vehicles, probably smaller cars, and, and the cars were really small back then for driving through there, but that's kind of a dangerous thing if you were to open your door and there's a car driving by. So this is a little goofy in some respects, but um, for photographs, I guess it looks pretty good. The water here in the kind of gutter, if you want to call it, section of the road, is just um, the two-part uh, mixture A and B clear that you uh, mix together and I just put that in there. Every, you know, a lot of modelers use it for making water and I've used it before, talked about it. 
the leaves thrown on the ground that you know accumulate in the corners of the buildings the sidewalk or the stairs there that kind of stuff it's just oregano <laughs> it's just glued on um, and the old newspaper thrown down as something I found I just looked up old World War II newspapers on the internet and just printed them out to size crumbled it up a little bit weathered it with some washes and pastels and there you go um, the Bren gun carriers from Tamiya old kit uh, cut the Tamiya tracks I put pins to sag them everything's painted right on um, I oversprayed at the end uh, of the regular painting of the Bren gun carrier was to overspray the, the markings a little to fade them out. So that this vehicle's been through a lot here at the end of the war, a lot of weather, you know, snow and rain and, and all the elements on it. Um, well, decals came with that kit. It's the packs on the back, I painted in artist oils so I could get a lot of texture and a lot of shading on them. Um, all this stuff comes with the black, comes with the black dog kit. This equipment here, and some of this fits in there really good because it was made for it. So, if I did it again, I'd want to make my own tarps, as I did on some of the other models you've seen on this channel. Um, the buildings were painted in acrylic paints. Um, picked out all the different stones here in different colors basic colors and then some darker and lighter shades bring it give it some life you know and that really sets things off um, to be honest i think this size of base as it is would render itself better for a smaller vehicle like say a kuba wagon a swim wagon a motorcycle um even that tempo that I build would probably look better there with some civilian figures around it. I think this is a little large. Um, it looks okay in photos, but as I said, it, it's it's a little large for this scene because it, it covers up a lot of the, the buildings. And a lot of times I want to see that maybe more than the, the actual armor kits that are on it, but I like these smaller compact scenes. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, it, it, you know, I, I put it away and, and didn't look at it for a while. And when I brought it out, I was like, wow, I should just do a video. I have some photos of the in progress. So let's just do a video. And so here it is, uh, the British entering Germany, 1945. And uh, I uh, appreciate everyone liking and subscribing and watching my videos. Uh, I'm flattered for all the people who have been tuning in. I just want to thank everybody very much. And I'm working on more stuff. So stay tuned. And once again, thanks for watching.